On November 24th, 2015, Muhammad Qasim saw that there was darkness everywhere. The sky was dark too, and there was huge machines and planes flying across the sky. They had everything under their control, and the people had no other options but to accept their tyranny. Then I told myself that based on my dreams, when darkness is everywhere and I see four moons, then this is my sign that Allah's help will arrive. So I looked at the sky and I found the first moon, and then I found the second, and then the third. Then I said the fourth moon should be here too, but I didn't see it. In confusion, I looked all across the sky but I could not find it. I got disappointed and complained to Allah, saying when will your help arrive? Just then, I looked at the sky right above myself and I saw the fourth moon. I became overjoyed, knowing the time of Allah's promise has arrived. I climbed a very tall building and I ran off the edge of that building and I was running in the air by the mercy of Allah. Then the nur of Allah appeared on my right hand index finger. Then I started destroying those gigantic machines and dangerous planes whilst running through the air. The people became hopeful that at least someone is attempting to destroy them. With Allah's help, I destroyed all the machines except one massive sized machine in the sky. This machine was firing at me heavily, and I too was running towards it very fast. And then I threw the nur of Allah at the sky. The nur quickly spread throughout the sky and destroyed that machine instantly. Then the entire sky became filled with the nur of Allah. We all gained our freedom once again and everyone was happy. Then I came down onto the land and the people gathered around me, saying you have done something amazing. And then I said no, but it became possible through the help of Allah, and verily, Allah helps his servants. Then after that, people invited me to their houses for a feast. I said that there is no need for it, but they insisted. Then I said jokingly that if only I could clone myself, then I would be able to go to everyone's houses. So they laughed and said that no matter what happens, we will never leave you alone.